So we got some crazy information and features to go over in today's video. We got two brand new betas out right now. One for the Java edition called 20W11A, as well as one for the Bedrock edition called 1.15.0.56 mostly bug fixes so i might focus on that in tomorrow's video but i primarily want to focus on the java snapshot which introduces new content to the nether one of which is nether gold mojang has listened to us they have listened to the community i'm honestly shocked because the past few weeks especially from helen she said that nether gold is probably not going to happen and jeb said that it's probably not going to happen as well but here we are today talking about nether gold as well as a brand new enchantment. So another feature that they said was probably not going to happen in the nether update was a new enchantment. And here we are. We got brand new enchantments. So the likelihood that we can see some other crazy content in 1.16 is extremely high. I'm actually really hyped, really excited about the nether update again. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you can do me a huge favor and crush the like button for me, let's see if we can get over 13 likes in today's video. It would just be a huge help. And don't forget to hashtag stealth army as well, because I will be liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. Now, let's go ahead and kick it off by hopping onto Minecraft.net, and let's see what they have to say about this brand new Java snapshot called 20W11A. In this snapshot, you can be on your merry way across the beautiful soul sand valleys with your freshly enchanted boots. It's a bit scary to be fair, so these boots will help you out with that bit. Now, let's see the new features. Added soul speed enchantment. Added twisting vines that grow upwards. Nether gold ore can now be found in the nether. It is just like gold ore, but more nethery? Soul speed. Never suffer again drudging through soul sand valleys. Soul speed has you covered. Shine your boots of choice with this soul sucking enchantment to speed around on soul sand and soul soil. There's a downside however, enchantments will slowly degrade your boots each soul block you walk on. Can only be obtained by bartering with those pesky piglins. So, more of an incentive to trade and barter with piglins. Of course, they give you some really cool and interesting loot, one of which is the Netherite Hoe. So, that's a rare drop. We can now get the new enchantment from the piglins through bartering with them. So, that's really cool and neat. Now, let's move on to changes in 20W11A. Bone meal can now be used to grow kelp, weeping vines, and twisting vines. Hoes are now the appropriate tools for mining hay, targets, dried kelp blocks, shroom lights, nether warp blocks, and warped warp blocks. So essentially, hoes are one of the best tools for using in the nether now. I mean, who would have predicted that a month ago before they started working on the nether update and the snapshots that hoes would be this valuable? I think that's really interesting, but let's move on. Doors, rails, buttons, pressure plates, redstone, and more can now be placed on soul sand and full block of snow layers. Soul sand with the rail on top will no longer slow down minecarts. TNT and campfires will ignite when hit by any burning projectile. And lastly, bell blocks will now ring when hit by any projectile. Now I wanted to save this part for the very end of the video and it's about redstone. They plan on making some interesting changes to redstone in the future, so um, this is what Mojang has to say about that. Redstone is one of the coolest things in Minecraft, and many of you are members of the communities that focus on building mind-blowing redstone contraptions, farms, computing machines, and 256 by 256 piston doors. A lot of redstone behavior is currently categorized as undefined. This is when the behavior of the block is not the result of intentional code, but is a side effect of unaccounted edge cases or quirks in the game code. We know that many players consider undefined behavior as a very interesting aspect of redstone and enjoy experimenting with and using undefined behavior to build unique contraptions to share with the rest of the community. However, the quirks of undefined behavior can be quite surprising, even when building simple contraptions. This quirkiness can be a negative experience for players new to redstone and may turn them away from this very unique and exciting aspect of Minecraft as well as the vast redstone community behind it. Our goal is to bring all redstone components up to a level of quality that we are happy with, and we will be making adjustments where it makes the most sense for redstone going forward. Any changes we make will be communicated in the snapshot change logs, and as well as we will be reading your feedback and comments. If you have any immediate feedback regarding redstone, then please make a post on the feedback website. 
So that is a lot of information to absorb. Essentially, they are changing redstone. The physics, the behavior of redstone is changing after how long? I'm not sure how they're going to tackle such a large project. I mean, the redstone community is vast and it's very old. I mean, people have been building with redstone for a long time now. So changes will have a drastic impact on everybody. It almost reminds me of what they're trying to do with the combat mechanics, how they're changing the combat physics, the mechanics. They're trying to make it more universal, more friendly toward, you know, PvE as well as PvP. Who knows how they're going to tackle that as well. They got a lot to sort of explain and they're going to have to figure out a way to balance all of it. So that's going to be terribly difficult. I'm not even sure where to begin with that and how that's going to change Minecraft. But hopefully they know what they're doing. Let me know how you guys feel about the redstone, the nether gold, the new enchantments. A lot is going on with this game and I'm just still really excited for the nether update. Also, let me know what you think the next major update theme is going to be, considering they're already working on it. But with that said, Notification Squad, y'all are the best, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace.